Jared Johnson with Thunder Road Show here, brought to you by HP Motorsports. With Lyle Barnett, killing it in the Leaf Spring game, running 420s like clockwork just about every pass. Had a little of an incident uh, on the last run, but you had a bye. Yeah, thank the, God. The tree was a little tricky. Yeah, I, I never heard of that. They, I guess that I activated it for a second and I flickered the bottom bulb trying, I was trying to get all I could get. You yeah. Know, and, but it's still, I, fortunately, I got a time, so we're, we're good to go. But yeah, man, that, it's crazy. I, we had no idea what, we're, what was gonna happen. We knew it had potential, you know, making that kind of power, but to go a 424 to 181 is- On pretty, leaf spring. Pretty vision on a leaf spring, you know? <laughs> I mean, Pete Harrell, you know, we, Jeff Burns built the motor, but Pete does all the engine maintenance and power management. And it, you know, he just got it spot on. Greg Slack built us a, a nice converter, and. Um, Eric Yost at Customs by Biggins did all the fab work and man, it drives good. I mean, I, you know, I tell everybody that you know, there was a video of me driving and I let go to, to get the parachute handle and I said, you put another GoPro in it and I'll let go at half track with both hands. You know, wow. it just drives itself. Yeah. How cool is it that you got the Leaf Spring Nation here cheering you on? You got uh, other cars in the Leaf Spring Nation next to you, but you're one of the few Dodge and Mopar powered cars in the whole event. Yeah, Jason's uh, he's a diehard Mopar fan and um, it's Mopar from bumper to bumper, you know, that's a Indy Block Predator Heads. It's, it's a true, you know, Chrysler engine, if you will, so it's cool to be different, you know. You, there's plenty of 69 Camaros and Mustangs out here, and to have something that somebody else can relate to, you know, my dad had one, or, or it, you know, it's cool. Yeah, it's interesting. So yeah absolutely relating to it. And Mopar guys are fanatics anyway, so the fact that you got a Mopar engine in a Mopar and you're killing it on a leaf spring, yeah. they, they've got to be just cheering you on like crazy. Yeah, man, it's, it's cool, yeah. You, the forums just exploded when we broke the world record in Bradenton. You know, it, I never even knew there was, you know, there's forums everywhere, but uh, there was a lot of chatter about it. You there's know, still had, forums? People still use that? I, I know, right? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> but uh, yeah, we've had people come by wearing Mopar gear, you know, and they're, you know, all pumped up about it because, you know, they, I guess, Price and Dodge are kind of the innovators of the whole Boogie Spring thing, and it's cool to, to, you know, bring them back on the map. But, you know, all the credit goes to Mr. Jason Digby over there. He, uh, he has a, a lot of time, effort, and, and money tied up in this thing, and um, he shipped it to North Carolina last year, and we've had it ever since. And other than text messages and some videos and pictures, he, that's the only way he knows it exists until he gets here. And um, he puts a lot of faith in us, and we, you know, we, I can't thank him enough for giving me the opportunity to drive, especially after my crash. You know, I didn't really know where my racing career was going to go, and. Um, Jason was quick to, you know, when Chad uh, stepped away for a little bit, you know, quick to put me in the seat. It was fun, man. I yeah. enjoyed it. Cool. And what a way to, to come back and to, to be doing it, killing it in the least three class and a two tenths ahead of everybody in the field. Uh, yeah, we actually had him covered by almost three tenths and uh, uh, 15 mile an hour or something like that. You know, it's crazy. And, it, and you know, it's not done. Um, with a converter change, we think we can go 190. Oh my um, God. There, the teams are coming. We could have went in the teams this weekend, but you know we came here with a mission to win the Leaf Spring Class, and so we've got it dialed back on cruise control and gonna try to blast through this field. So yeah, if you go a team, the, the rest of the class is gonna have a cry for big. Well, it, it's already started. <laughs> you know, the 24 was enough to to uh, bring on the, the, the class killer uh, hashtag. So you know. But we opened the class up this year. The class was dying. Uh, Jason got with Donald and said, you know, we need to open this thing up, make it a little more unlimited. Yeah. Um, and, you know, we followed the rules. There's nothing nothing gray about this thing. You know, ain't no lockup in it. it, it it's purpose built for the class, and we made it work. Um, you know, they sell precision 118s every day. So Yeah, you know, and they sell leaf springs every day. Right, if you want to you keep up, go buy one. Yeah, right? Hey, well, that's the way to do it, man. We appreciate the time. Right. Good luck this next round. Do you Thank know who you. you got? I don't. You, you don't. know who we got now? Uh, it doesn't matter right now, right. does it? Exactly. <laughs> hey, how about that Davis traction control? You got to use it a lot. we got Shannon over here on his day off. I saw and heard him laying on the car. You got me working on one day off. <laughs> you know, but uh, it worked that fast. I had to drive it a little bit, but I could feel it. You know, it started start shaking the tires and it was pulling the power out and it still went 176 so you know there's everybody on board uh jeff brandenburg who bikes uh, strippers and wires was here this week he wired this car uh flew in from ohio started on it at like midnight on friday and finished it uh sunday we left and went home oh wow we wired this thing up so um there's so many people you know to thank uh mark Mentor, uh dave at performance transmissions greg flack 
Uh, the Goodrich guys, like I said, Jeff Burns builds the engines. Pete Harrell at HED does all power management. Uh, Eric Yost comes by big and does pretty badass fab work. So we're excited, man. Where, where it's going, I think the uh, LDR uh, championship should be fun this year. That'll be fun. So what else do y'all plan on doing with this car the rest of the season? Uh, LDR is from here on out. We can pull. We're 3,200 pounds. Okay. 3,215. We can be 3,025 in LDR. So we're gonna go back to the shop, jerk some weight out, get it scaled out, working right. Go to Darlington Dragway and test. Um, you know, get everything worked out, and we're gonna run LDR from here until October. We'll put the weight back in and come back here for lease spring. We've got the Carolina Small Tire Series, Lance Stanford and uh, Travis Harvey put together. I got a couple leaf spring shootouts throughout the year, so we're gonna do that. And then I uh, hope to have my new car out uh, sometime in May and uh, give the Pro Charger another try. So All right. It's gonna be fun. Well, hey, good thing you got a, 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 a seat to drive in for the rest of the season, right? That's right, right. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> well, keep Appreciate up the good work, man. We'll, we'll see you uh, on the next round. All right, sounds good, All thanks. Good. Thanks.